Okay, Emil, talk about, you know, being able to be part of this production and how this role was unlike any other you had done before. You know, uh, they were making this movie and I uh, went up to Pete at a party and I said, what's going on with Lone Survivor? And he looked at me and flat out said no to my face. I said no. And I was like, well, I feel a little differently about that. And uh, eventually he was like, all right, well, let's see how bad you want to do this. I'm not giving you the role. You train at this pro camp that I selected, a pro camp for athletes, six days a week at 6 a.m. You show up, five or six hours of training a day, which is insane. And uh, you can never say no, you can never complain, you can never say you're tired and you want to stop. And uh, we'll see what happens. I'm not giving you the part. I'm not guaranteeing anything. I might just go hire another actor. And uh, so I just showed up and trained for a few months. And uh, eventually, he was kind enough to give me the opportunity. Talk about having the seals on set, and um, you know, and Marcus there too, and what you know what that demanded of you in terms of accuracy. It was an intense responsibility. Um, Marcus is a very intelligent man and a very detail-oriented person, and he wanted nothing less than absolute accuracy and detail. Um, we just, uh, we always had a seal over our shoulder. You know, it was like our guardian seal. It was like, this is wrong, do this. Trigger awareness, muzzle awareness, check your sides. Never, ever talk back. How do you feel that this story is going to, you know, beyond the book, be able to reach so many more people? Um, I'm, I'm thrilled. I, I think that it's an incredible story and a great monument to uh, men and women in uniform and people who serve and people who are willing to make those sacrifices. And they should be appreciated. They shouldn't get lost in the 24-7 news cycle that we have these days where it's like you hear about something bad on the news and two days later, it's not even in your mind, you know? This is a chance to really uh, appreciate a really special group of people that uh, have made some huge sacrifices for our country. And Peter, in terms of Peter as a leader, um, what kind of confidence did he instill in you guys? He's great confidence. He, so much confidence. He's a great man. He's a really uh, a kind, intelligent person who I really, really admire. And uh, he's just incredibly talented. And um, he knows how to, he knew how to navigate the relationships with all the families of all the soldiers who'd fallen in a really genuine, respectful way where people didn't feel like and no one was being shortchanged or taken advantage of or anything like that. They, they really supported Pete and they got behind Pete. And, you know, the families have seen the movie and, and they like it. So it's like kind of like mission accomplished a little bit, we sort of feel. Because I know for Pete, for the SEALs and for the families, that was the most important group of people he wanted to like the movie. He told me that before we even shot. He said, that's all that matters is that they like it. Thank you so much. Thank you.